It is uncontrollable. Uh, it's messy beyond all belief. It's never ideal. At no point when somebody accepts Christ into their life as their personal Lord and Savior do they cease being messed up. We love God, we hate God. We love to pray, we hate to pray. We think God is benevolent and graceful, but then we think he's wrathful. I mean, it's just messy. It's very difficult to sort of understand God. It's not the mess and then God. So all the places that are all fixed up are where God is, and then all the sort of other places are, you know, where Satan and all of his friends live. It's not the case at all. When Jesus came out of the tomb, the first thing that he did was he went to the disciples and he showed them his scar. For so many people, if you talk about the scars, it equates weakness, it equates with imperfection, it equates with lack of faith. To be weak is a lack of faith. And for a lot of my friends, they're not scars. They're gaping open wounds and they're not healed. It's a hard world to live in. It's a really hard world to live in. Obviously, over time, the hope is that we become different people and better and we grow and we um, emerge into something that's new. Stopping and hearing somebody say, I actually love you for who you are right now. Not what you're going to do tomorrow. Not what you're going to fix. Um, not by being more pretty or losing 50 more pounds or 20 more pounds but you are loved right here and right now. And nobody can take that from you.